very interesting topic that is depleted uranium now why it is called as depleted is very important because in the process of enrichment uh, the remaining amount of uranium that's left is it still useful and this is called as depleted uranium or du we'll come to it in a while but let's understand what is uranium so uranium as the chemical symbol denotes u it's a radioactive element which is found in silver color it's more dense uh, it's nearly 70 times 70 percent more dense than lead and even a small cube of 10 centimeter can weigh around 20 kilograms so uranium is extremely heavy in that ways now there are three most common isotopes of uranium u 238 235 and 234 238 is the most abundant of those and has a significantly higher half-life what does half-life mean the time it takes to dissociate it into 50 percent so let's say this is one it takes nearly four thousand and so many years to dissociate uh, like it's nearly uh, so it's 4,000 million years to dissociate itself into half of its radioactive capability. So that's what is called as the half-life, right? But that half-life for its third isotope, which is the uranium-234, is relatively very less. If we should have let's say very less. In comparison to U-38, it's less. But in absolute terms, this is a very uh, prolonged period of time now in trace amount uranium is present in soil in all rocks in air and water even in our lungs if we respire in small amounts that's okay but beyond that it is detrimental to health so if if the proportion is 1.3 micrograms in a day that that is what is the permeable limit the most common uh, compound form in which uh, uranium can be found is uranium oxide uo3 uh, uraniums if we say if it is found in vegetable it can have higher amount of concentration than that found in the drinking water so again it's really important where you are getting your fruits and vegetables from it's not just uranium as one but yes you have other uh, heavy metals which is the presence of other heavy metals like cadmium lead which is again a matter of grave concern uh, near the industrial belts now what is depleted uranium as i mentioned in the starting so depleted uranium in order to produce fuel in the nuclear reactor process uh, uranium is enriched so u-235 let's say uh, the isotope which is responsible for nuclear fission gets enriched now when it is enriched the proportion of the natural uranium which is somewhere around 0.72 is increased to 2 to nearly 94 percent by mass now when you have such a high proportion of increase of the uranium content this process is called as enrichment of ura uranium now the product which is the byproduct is a product which is known as depleted uranium because the uranium which is enriched is separate and the byproduct which is found has relatively lesser amount of uranium in it and this is what is called as depleted uranium with a proportion of nearly 0.71 or less which is found now very important to understand the depleted um, uh, uranium by weight is higher than the natural uranium by weight for the various uh, for the isotope for u-238 for u-235 it's 0.72 per portion uh, which reduces to 0.2 percent in the depleted radioactive uh, uranium now where is this use the utilization for du uh, depleted uranium is again important it is mainly used for uh, military purpose for armors in the nose of the missiles and therefore it has a very significant role in arms and ammunition and military segment so this uh, depleted uranium does has its important application the most important thing is it self ignites at a temperature of 600 to 700 degrees celsius and under high pressure which leads to a um, kind of um, uh, uh, capability to penetrate itself through the armor plates and therefore it is used specifically for military and defense purposes even the fine particles if we talk about for depleted uranium they can 
can go and get into the lungs and the alveoli they can remain there for a period of up to 16 years uh, there there can be impact on the kidneys 10% uh, of the concentration could have actually have a significant impact into the bloodstream lungs as well as kidneys so there is where we need to understand the concept of depleted uranium how it is formed and the major applications really important for um, uh, the upcoming exams because this is one of the remarkable developments specifically in the defense sector where the proportion of depleted uranium is uh, consumed at a faster period